In this video, we're going to talk about the differences between Razor Pages, MVC, and Blazor. Now, all three frameworks sit on top of the ASP.NET Core framework. Razor Pages is a server side web UI framework that lets us build server rendered web user interfaces, also called traditional web applications. So, in this model, we build a Razor Pages web app and host it on a server. The browser sends a request to the server, and the request is routed to a Razor Page endpoint which executes on the server to produce web user interface which consists of static HTML, CSS and maybe some JavaScript and that HTML is added to the response and sent back to the client browser. The browser then displays the HTML markup as a web page for the user to interact with. Now when the user clicks on a link or hits a button on the page, the browser once again sends a request to the server and the entire process repeats. This concept is known as Static Server Side Rendering or Static SSR. The Razor Pages framework provides a page based programming model for building these web UIs, and support for ASP.NET Core Razor Pages is built on top of ASP.NET Core MVC. ASP.NET Core MVC is also a server side web UI framework that lets us build server rendered web UIs or traditional web applications, but we can also use the framework to build web APIs also called controller based web APIs. So if we are building a server rendered web user interface with ASP.NET Core MEC, it works the same way as Razor Pages except that now instead of Razor Pages web app, we have an MEC web app hosted on the server. And if we are building a controller based web API, that web API can return data that is formatted in JSON or XML which can then be consumed by any client application such as a desktop app, a mobile app, or a client-side web UI that is a single page application. ASP.NET Core MVC is based on the model view controller architectural pattern for building these web UIs and APIs. Again, ASP.NET Core MVC also uses static server side rendering or static SSR. Static SSR has the following benefits. First, the app loads faster because the work is already done on the server and the browser has to simply display the HTML. Second, since the application is on the server, the application can easily access server resources such as databases. And finally, the site can be easily indexed. Static SSR has a few drawbacks too. First, the cost of processing and memory use are concentrated on the server. Second, for every user interaction, a round trip to the server is required. And finally, an issue with frameworks like Razor Pages and MVC is that they lack a component based programming model for building server side web UIs. Now, Blazor is a full stack web UI framework and it is a recommended framework for most web UI scenarios. First, we can use Blazor to build server rendered web UIs or traditional web applications. So, we will have a Blazor web app hosted on a server that consists of Razor components. A browser sends a request to the server and the request is routed to a Razor component. The Razor component executes on the server to produce web user interface which consists of a static HTML and CSS and that HTML is added to the response and sent back to the client browser. The browser then displays the HTML markup as a web page for the user to interact with. This is the usual static server side rendering concept that is used in frameworks like Razor Pages and MVC. We can also use Blazor to build interactive server rendered web UIs using a concept called interactive server side rendering or interactive SSR. This works at two levels. First, we can have global or root level interactivity. So the entire application with all its Razor components can be interactive using interactive server side rendering. So in this scenario, a SignalR connection will be established between the browser and the server and over the SignalR connection, any user interface events occurring on the browser will be sent to the server and UI updates will be sent from the server to the browser in real time so that the entire application is interactive. Second, we can have interactivity on a per component basis. So the entire application uses static server side rendering and then any individual components within the app can be made interactive using interactive server side rendering. So only for those components a signal R connection will be established and the UI gets updated in real time. Finally, we can use Blazor to build client rendered web user interfaces or single page applications 
using a concept called client side rendering or CSR. This again works at two levels. First, we can have global interactivity where the entire application with all its razor components gets downloaded to the client browser and they execute client side in the browser on a WebAssembly based .NET runtime. These components are interactive and if they need data, they can talk to a web API. Second, we can also have interactivity on a per component basis. So the entire application uses static server side rendering or static SSR and then any individual components can be made interactive using client side rendering. So only those components get downloaded to the client browser and are interactive. So in summary, Razor Pages lets us build server rendered web user interfaces. ASP.NET Core MVC also lets us build server rendered web user interfaces, but you can also build web APIs with it. And both Razor Pages and MVC use static server side rendering or static SSR. And finally, Using Blazor, we can also build server rendered web user interfaces using static server side rendering. And in addition, with Blazor, we can also use interactive server side rendering and client side rendering. And an advantage with Blazor is that it provides a component based programming model for building these web UIs. So that's it for this video. Hope you found the video useful. Thanks for watching.